Elite Boxing presents... Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to our next Mixed Martial Arts Contest. This fight is in the Abu Dhabi Warriors middleweight division. Please welcome the first fighter to enter the ring from the Congo. Please welcome Christian Mpubu. So here he comes, rising up for the ceiling. It is Christian Mpubu, who's been on some of the biggest stages of them all. Mpubu, of course, was the inaugural Bellator and light heavyweight champion. Since winning the title, had a few hiccups in his career, picked up a win and then took another loss. Mpubu looking to right those wrongs to get back on the right track. Here in this road to Abu Dhabi, presented by Abu Dhabi Warriors and EFN. He fights out of the DRC, a bit older in years, 39 years old, but still fighting on a very high level. 28 fights, 19 wins, eight defeats. And one draw. Mapubu is in our ring. Let's get our next competitor. And ladies and gentlemen, introducing the second fighter to enter the ring from France. Please welcome Sebastian Hortemorsand. And now the Frenchman makes his way to the ring. Sebastian what Marchand. A lot of hype been made of Marchand leading up to this fight. A very complete fighter that's on an incredible roll. Look at his wins, four big wins, only one loss. Marchand, heavy-handed, nasty fighter, and this could be a huge notch in his career if he could take out Mabumbu. Sebastian Marchand ready to go to war. Huge opportunity for him. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing these two warriors once again. The fighter standing in the blue corner he is from the Congo. He is 39 years old, has a fight record of 19 wins with eight losses. He is Christian Mpubu. <laughs> and standing across the ring in the red corner, he's from France. He is 32 years old, has a record of four wins with one loss. He is Sebastian Hort Marchand. Your referee in charge of the action is uh, Dimitri Sazanov. And Dimitri Sazanov giving the instructions here as these two men go to war 39 year old Mapumbu and 32 year old Marchand, but two men that have drastically different amount of. Of experience, you're looking at four and one here for Marshawn. A you're bit ready? of a a late start Fight. for Marshawn, but he's been doing a lot of damage. Mapumbu has a big time height advantage, and of course the experience could be very well in his corner. It's Mapumbu in the blue, and in the w red, white, and blue Man. is Marshawn. Ma Mapumbu is huge for 84 kilos. Well, we remember. I mean, he was quite the force at. At light heavyweight, he moves down a middleweight where he does have a huge advantage as far as the size. And if he's mastered this weight cutting, he's, he'll be in the ring now at the same weight as he was as a light heavyweight. Boy, really starting, really trying to back up Marshawn. Marshawn trying to close the distance with Mapumbu. That's a long bit of range to deal yeah. with. And he looks very, very comfortable at the moment, doesn't he? He really does. Taking his time. He's been Whoa, there before, nice and he stuffs from Marchand. He potentially stuffs his takedown, but it looks like Marchand may be able to finish it. No, it looks like Mapumbu is going to stick it as they struggle for position there. And quickly, Mapumbu says, "All right, bring it back up." Tries to get out of the way. Mapumbu wants to make this thing a stand-up war. He can tell that Marchand doesn't want a piece of that, as you can already see on the left eye of Marchand, really starting to take some damage. Yeah. 
and Pubu feeling him out with that jab, getting his range. Oh, but he gives that one up. Bit of a sloppy takedown, but Marshawn able to bring him down to the mat so he can do a little bit more work. Marshawn very fluent on the ground. Yeah. Like you say, it wasn't, wasn't the prettiest of takedowns, but it, it did the job. That's lovely there. He's turning him over. But Mpubu is he's so big and so Oh, strong. take a look at the neck there. As you can see, he's starting to crank on the neck of Mpubu. Man. Arm was in. Arm is now in. I'm surprised he let go of that. Very, very close. Sure. Marshawn's nasty. Not, not sure what Sazanoff is doing there. He's, he's uh, smacking the hand of someone. Maybe uh, Mpubu's grabbing the glove of Marshawn underneath, which is illegal. Trying to transition into a guillotine, but he is around the left arm of Christian Mpumbu. Yeah, he's got a neck crank there. So many great fighters coming out of the, the DRC, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Incredible athletes, hard hitters. Mpumbu is one of those guys that has gone on to very green pastures and has really made a name for himself. Yeah, and if you, you know, Mpumbu, I've said how massive he is, but he's. he's shredded as well so he's carrying no excess baggage whatsoever he's now he's on top he's going to start landing some strikes now Christian Mapumbu starting to trying to isolate the arm of Marshawn but now Marshawn tries to turn it into an arm bar but continues to eat the elbows and the, the punches of Mapumbu. yeah and, um, and again we're looking at, it looked like he was going to go for an armbar there. Um, again, we're looking at the winner of this fighting the winner of the previous fight. Um, Dimitri Voitov, and that is not going to be an easy task, Grant. You saw what Voitov just did. He made a big statement. He's going to be very tough to deal with in the finals in Abu Dhabi. There we go. And Pumbu just backing off. Very calm. Up you get, fella. Let's... Uh, Let's throw some leather. But. Stop oh. he, well, he <laughs> rolls underneath the rope. He escaped there. That's um, that is not illegal. ideal. It's That's illegal. not ideal. <laughs> it's illegal. It's a bit cheeky, but if Mpumbu's just about to clout you in the chops, why not? But I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm bigging it. up Mpumbu here, but we're sort of in the latter part of the first round. Well, he's just chasing at this point, trying to establish. Oh, and a big right hand. A single and down shot. goes Marshawn. Marshawn could be seeing stars here. Ken Mpumbu put the fight away. Nice recovery by the Frenchman. Yeah. Uh, wow, that was a big right <laughs> hand. I mean, he hasn't really been headhunting and throwing big bombs, but he just, he's just he been very, very calm, collected, and patient. And saw an opening there. Bang. How often do you see this where a fighter actually baits the baits his opponent to get up and stand? Right. Even the best strikers a lot of the time will fall into the trap of the grappler. Yeah. And Mapumbu, he's been around the block long enough not to do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he almost landed a big uppercut there. Yeah. I believe it glanced off the chin. Now Mapumbu once again with the ground and pound. Christian Mapumbu looking fantastic here in round one. Yeah, very in control, very relaxed, calm, collected. Um, and at the end of it, you know, he's he's a little bit puffing, you know. It's not a bad workout for him. But let's not write off Sebastian Marchand. Um, no, when you get a guy that has the submission skills, has the grab weight, he's always in the fight. All it takes is one mistake by Mpumbu. But if you look... You know, the matchmaking on Abu Dhabi Warriors can, can sometimes look, on paper, slightly odd if you're simply looking at the guy's records. We've got a fighter here uh, in Mpumbu who's been around the block. He's fought for Bellator. He's got 20, uh, 28 wins, uh, sorry, 28 fights on his record, uh, whereas Marchand has only got five fights on his record. A huge difference in experience but doesn't necessarily reflect their ability. However, I think I think what makes a bigger difference is the height, the height advantage, the height, it's size, insane. and range. But, uh, you know, I'm saying it may be 
better balanced than it looks. No, I agree. I, I really do. And I, these guys know what they're doing. Our great matchmaking staff, everybody here uh, at Abu Dhabi Warriors and EFN both. As you've seen, a lot of really tight decisions tonight. I think we'll see uh, Umpubu. Well, I would, I would hope so. That he's found his range. He, he had, um, you know, he nearly finished the fight. That's not a bad low kick from uh, Marchand. There's that jab. He's going to land a few jabs, and then that straight right is going to come into effect. He comes down to this just another day at work for Mpumbu and for Marchand. This is a huge opportunity, and maybe he's just a bit taken away from it. And it can affect. Well, it's going to affect your confidence if you get dropped with a huge punch at the end of the, la uh, the last round. Beautiful stuff there by Mpumbu, and here he goes <coughs> with the ground and pound. If he sticks with it, he could possibly stop Marchand laying in those left hands. But Mpumbu says, all right, come back up. up you get. It has to be frustrating for Marchand. Yeah, I mean, Marchand obviously wants the fight on the ground. Perhaps that's where his strength lies, but it's obviously where Mpubu's strength lies. There's a cheeky little uh, left hand there. He needs to circle. He can't just get backed into the corner against somebody like Mpubu. Oh, here it is again, that right hand, teasing it again, lets it go and connects. He needs to circle. He needs lateral movement. You can't go Oh, there's the left forwards. hand. Marshawn, it seems like it's uh, only a matter of time, and there he goes. Yeah. Marshawn's down again, and here goes Sazanov. He's watching very closely. But Mpubu can't put him away. Marshawn is a tough one. Uh, it surprised me. Somebody with Mpubu's experience, he drop a guy like that, you've got to capitalize on it. Well, he's trying to now, but, I mean, it just appeared that Marshawn got into a position. Wow. Marshawn's, Marshawn's, Marshawn's a tough not, He's not going to want to get up now, is he? Absolutely not. Mapumbu knows it. He knows he doesn't want to get up, and it looks like we may have an injury here. He's holding on to his wrist. I believe. I believe. I don't know if he's going to well, be able to go on. He's holding on referee, to his wrist. The referee's asking him, "Do you want to carry on?" The fight's over. He can't and that's fight. It, he he's can't fight anymore. Off. He's probably. Okay. It appears that his wrist or his forearm go. is in a bad way. Possibly the way that he fell. Either that or blocking those bombs by Christian Mapumbu, and that is going to be it. Mpumbu notches a victory, and I can't wait to see Christian Mpumbu and Dimitri Voitov in Abu Dhabi. You're talking about a blockbuster matchup that's going to be a good one. Those two are going to be absolutely exciting. Christian Mpumbu back to his winning ways. Could he be that much closer to winning the big money, the big prize in Abu Dhabi? Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes and 12 seconds of the second round, with Sebastian Huat Marchand unable to continue with an injured left arm, we have a winner by way of TKO, Christian Ampupu. That is a big win for Ampupu for his career to get back another W and to move on to the finals in Abu Dhabi. The road to Abu Dhabi has been paved. It's Dimitri Boitov, Christian Mpumbu. Big time matchup to go on later on this year at Abu Dhabi Warriors number four. That's going to be a can't miss event. And of course, as we move on to Sofia, to Kuala Lumpur, to Sao Paulo, we're going to see all different divisions being notched in. Welterweight, featherweight. Incredible win by Christian Mpumbu.